All right, so now we're going to do uh, another type of problem involving um, ellipses. So it says, given this equation, uh, find the standard form of the equation of an ellipse. So now, uh, again, notice here the x squared and y squared are positive. So uh, because it tells us an ellipse, we know it's an ellipse, but that's a good indication that it could be an ellipse or a circle, right? If x squared and y squared are positive, we'll talk about hyperboles or hyperbolas where uh, only one of them is positive and one's negative. Uh, but again, we're looking for the standard form of an ellipse. We don't know which axis is the major axis. So I'm just going to do generically x minus h squared over a squared, but that could be b, plus y minus k over b squared, but that could be a equals 1. Okay, so this is going to require what's called completing the square. I don't know if you remember that. So the first step in completing the square is to get the non-x or y terms on the other side. So up here, I'll add 8 to both sides. So we're going to have 4x squared. I'm going to put the minus 8x next to it, plus y squared, plus 4y next to it equals 8. Okay, and now we need to complete the square. Now, there is one extra piece that we did not talk about in our class in geometry that I'm going to talk about now. And that is that x squared and y squared mo must both have a coefficient of 1. This x squared has a coefficient of 4. So before you do anything with the x and the, if you remember, the b over 2 squared, which is the complete the square idea, we have to factor out this 4 from the x terms. That's going to leave us with x squared minus 2. And now your x squared on minus 2x. And now your x squared has a 1 coefficient. Uh, now the y needs nothing, but I'll put a 1 there just to kind of signify that I've thought about that. But it doesn't change anything. y squared plus 4y equals 8. And now here comes the completing the square part. So for my x, the b is negative 2. Divide that by 2 and square it. That's negative 1 squared. Whenever you square a negative, it becomes positive, and 1 squared is 1. For the y, we're going to take 4, divide it by 2, and square it. That's 2 squared, which is 4. And now this number gets added to both sides, except with the 4 in front of the x squared, when we add a 1 inside this parenthesis, we're not really adding a 1, and I'll show you that in a second. So I'm going to take this over here. So it's going to be 4 times x squared minus 2x plus 1, uh, plus 1 times y squared plus 4y plus 4 equals 8. And now, I did not just add 1. I added 4 times 1. So add 4 times 1. And here, I did not just add 4. I added 1 times 4. So see what I do with these coefficients and the numbers that I add, right? So you got to make sure you do that. If you don't, it's going to be wrong. Okay? All right, so now over here, now it's time to factor these trinomials, right? So x squared minus 2x plus 1. x times x gives you x squared. The signs match the b term, minus, minus, and the factors of 1 that add to 2 are 1 and 1. So this is 4 times x minus 1 squared. Okay, over here, y squared plus 4y plus 4. To get y squared, it's y and y. They match the b term. That's positive. And the factors of 4 that give you 4 when you add them are 2 and 2. So that's going to be plus 1 times y plus 2 squared. And that's going to equal uh, 8 plus 4 plus 4. That's 16. And now if you recall in the formula, there needs to be a 1 on the right-hand side. So we divide this by 16. Divide that by 16, divide that by 16. And when you do that, uh, the, the numerator coefficient should cancel. So the 4 cancels with the 16 and only left the 4 on the bottom. x minus 1 over 4. The 1 just disappears. The 16 stays on the bottom plus y over y plus 2 squared over 16. And that equals 1. And there you go. And there's your equation. Now again, if we had to hand, if we had to hand draw this right, here's your h and k, your center, positive one, negative two, opposite. And then because the uh, the number underneath the y binomial is bigger, that means that the y or the vertical is the major axis, uh, and that's a value of four, right? Square root four, and then this would be a value of two for your b because square root of four.
But anywho, we're going to use the graph and calculator to graph this now. And we're going to graph both equations just to make sure they land on top of each other. So let's do that now. So I'll come here. Again, I like to zoom out one. All right, the original equation was 4x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 4y minus 8 equals 0. And you can see it's a vertical ellipse, as I, as I mentioned. So now let's double check our problem. So uh, fraction, parentheses, x minus 1 squared over, over 4 plus y plus 2. I'm sorry, fraction plus fraction, y plus 2 squared over 16 equals 1. And there you go. Lands right on top of it, just as it's supposed to. You would copy and paste that graph. And again, in your uh, task, which is the next slide, you have this space down here to do what you need to do. Math type, type it out, copy and paste um, in there. Awesome. Okay, that's task four. So ellipses are done. Last two tasks involve hyperbolas.